IID, the dream, the dream of lakhs of aspirants. Nearly 10 lakh aspirants are writing for JEE every single year and very less percentage of people only getting selected. So today we are going to see the strategies, routines, last 20 days preparation of IITNs with you, right? So without further delay, let's get started. What's the best solution to solve last 20 days pressure and exam pressure? This prepared just only 70 to 80 percent. How can he utilize maximum amount of that 70 to 80 percent? What is the one piece of advice? If you want to give to the aspirants, what do you give? We are here at IIT Madras and uh, they are actually freshies of IIT Madras. So today we are going to discuss something about IIT J Educational Data Fund. So we'll start with some naming sessions. So what is, what's your name? And like what department you do? I'm Arvind and I'm in civil engineering. Okay, you? I'm Anantu from civil engineering. Civil engineering. Civil engineering. I'm Apur from civil engineering department. Okay. <laughs> I'm Rutuja from civil engineering. Civil engineering. I'm Radha from civil department. Civil engineering. I'm Anshu from civil department. Civil engineering. Okay, I brought people from Anshu civil engineering. Civil engineering. We're also from civil engineering. Okay, cool. What's your favorite subject? I really like organic chemistry. To be honest, none but physics. <laughs> physics, why? <laughs> it made sense. It made sense than the other. I really like organic chemistry because we were learning about the common chemicals in our body and plants and all. Very you much? like physics? Yeah, why? It focuses on realism okay. and also I loved solving uh, mechanical problems. I like maths because it's very logical and we just have to implement that formula. Okay, that's it. Just you learn it, apply it, that's it. No thinking, nothing. <laughs> what about you? Organic chemistry only. Like I feel I was able to do it, so I like What about you? Physics because uh, there is nothing we have to mug up in physics. What about you? Calculus. Calculus. Why? Like I could really understand the problems well. Okay. So it helped me. What is the one piece of advice if you want to give to the aspirants? What do you give? No matter what happens, uh, your mental health always comes first. First. Don't give up till the last. Till the last. You, you won't know. You might say, yeah, I'm, I'm scoring less in my mock test, but that won't work. That you will. Work. You will do better. No matter how good you are, there'll be someone better than you. But no matter how bad you are. Be better it's than better than you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So just focus on being the best that you can, that you can do, and don't compare with others. Cool. Your only competition is you. Be confident and don't okay. stress out. Just give your best on exam day. I would say just be consistent and like whatever your teacher or that wherever you're studying, whatever they are giving the work, just do that. Just never give up. And never give up. Never ever give up, guys. <laughs> okay. Let's say some aspirant is prepared just only 70 to 80 percent. How can he utilize maximum out of that 70 to 80 percent? If an aspirant has just no 70. 80%, that's more than enough. First of all, you need to be confident in that. At least you should have surface knowledge of 20-30%. Uh, oh, okay, surface knowledge of 20 to 30. Yeah, Why are you saying that? Very easy question is asked and everyone else can do it and you can't do it. Okay, let's say that uh, the guy is like 70% he finished, okay? He don't know which is surface level kind of thing, no? So how he can learn that? So, J means asks a lot of totally formula related questions. Sometimes it will happen that you won't know the theory that well, but you know the formula, so you can apply. J, J means there's one mantra. It's okay. not about how much topics you cover. It's okay. about how much you master the topic. In exam time, picking up questions properly is more important than like doing everything. I feel. If you've studied anything at all in the last few months, okay. you will have surface knowledge of that uh, topic okay. because all the topics are somehow related to one another in J. Well, let's say someone is newly preparing, right? So what is the best reference book they can do for Max, Physics and uh, what is the other subject? <laughs> Max, <laughs> Chemistry, okay? <laughs> I, was, I was not a J aspirant. <laughs> yeah, lots of books, but I think that what their professors say, it will be best for like DC Pandey or PM Shama for Physics, okay. not both. Okay. Any one of from Any one book, okay. Yeah, and maths. I follow G T Vani. Thank you, series for okay. mathematics and okay. for organic chemistry. Uh, M S Chauhan okay. organic chemistry B K J as well. Okay. And physical chemistry in Arun University. For a newly preparing aspirant, uh, uh, focus on the basics and clear them rather than just you know focusing on advanced levels use simple books the books which are recommended by the professors or mentors yeah. oh, okay fine 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 i would recommend uh, referring the coaching materials they are one of the most important for physics hc verma is one of the prerequisites okay. which you must do for maths and chemistry like any other book is okay in the beginning i'd say uh, we, a lot of times we forget to refer to like our own textbook ncrt okay. especially for uh, chemistry i'd say uh, we must not forget ncrt what is the best solution to solve last 20 days and exam pressure. We were having exams like six hour exams in our coaching so I used to give those exams and analyze those. Analyzing those paper you will get to know like uh, what is your weak part or which part you need to revise. For the last 20 days many people uh, think that we have to study at all times like 24 hours a day they have okay. to study. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a super If you give a mock test or study for a 
a long period of time okay. i would recommend forget study okay. you can play some games okay. you can exercise or do something to chill out whatever you had to do you did it in the last two years last two years yeah so now chill days, now yeah. now you have to mentally you have to be mentally stable yeah. right now in the last 3 days to 1 week just don't study at don't all don't study at all you okay. probably dropped a few hobbies while preparing for je uh-huh. now is a good time to pick them up maintain a good sleep schedule good sleep also do not skip any meals in the last 20 days the last thing you want is to fall physically sick and okay. not be able to write the exam for overthinkers please don't overthink it's just <laughs> <laughs> now we have the exam now people get pressure and make mistakes so how to handle exam pressure i slept properly mm. the other day the day before the exam mm. i slept very early mm. which i indulged my habit for that okay. like uh, before 10 days before the exam ends i okay. developed a habit okay. with me mm. to sleep early okay then i slept at 10 pm okay woke up early okay went to the center or refreshed and then didn't think about academics at all i was just like me phod dunga how you handled during the exam whenever you start uh, getting thoughts like oh no i've missed so many questions i don't know this question just stop take a few deep breaths it really helped me a lot uh-huh. if you know a question do it if you don't know just skip it and keep moving on don't get emotional okay just go in front of mirror to tell them you have done your best in preparation okay affirmations <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay <laughs> and you are going to do best in your exams okay. also do affirmations guy go in front of mirror and just <laughs> say it. in j means uh, what it was like doing the paper in two three rounds really helps like uh, when you will start the paper in the first round you will see the question and you will not you will like you will be able to do it or not okay. so like in the first round you need to go really fast and do whatever you know and okay. then taking two three rounds okay. and then at the end in this way you will see like you have covered most of the parts when you start exam start with the easy and then go with difficulty okay fine 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 this this exam is not the end of everything there is still a lot more to come be confident look you have done a lot of hard work yeah and you will know that on the paper when you, when you are able to solve all the questions yeah. so. don't stress don't take it like this is the life something like that so just go chill have fun like these guys thank you so much you guys say all the best like i'll say 3 2 1 you just say all the best 3 2 1 all the best